you're doing. <laughs> Welcome back to the vlog. It is Saturday and my goal today is to wrap up everybody's S-T-O-C-K-I-N-G presence so that way I'm like officially done other than waiting for random things to roll in through the mail. Um, so I'm, I'm looking for all three of the boys today and figured I would take you guys with me. I'm trying to think of which direction to go. I think I'm going to head down towards the mall, get myself a little Christmas festive beverage, and I'm going to hit up Target. I'm debating going back into Best Buy to look. Um, there's, uh, gosh, TJ Maxx over there. Um, trying to think of things there's a um that bookstore dang it I can't remember what it's called we're just gonna head over there and I will share with you guys ideas for those last minute stuffers uh if you're looking for something so and it's all gonna be dude related so if that's not your jam then you in the wrong spot totally forgot about Burlington so let me see what I can find Okay, finding dude stuff to put in stockings is really freaking hard because all this stuff is big. I don't, I don't know what to do. I've been walking around and not really seeing anything that reminds me of Brody at all. We get a couple new stores and this mall becomes crazy literally was like the zombie mall like nobody was here You guys, they have an entire Harry Potter section. That's crazy. They got a little gingerbread squishy. <laughs> That's cute. Oh, she's cute. I'm magnetic. What? I'm squishable. Why are you magnetic? Interesting. I don't know. This shopping trip is not going well. <laughs> I ended up getting a couple things to wrap for Brody to put under the tree. But I didn't really find any stocking stuffers. Am I being too picky? Maybe. Should I just get some gift cards maybe? <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Uh, and then I got a um, phone holder that you put into a vent and it's not, I mean, it was only $6, but it's not strong enough to position. So every time I attach it to the vent, you guys just fall facing the, um, the floor. So the only way that I'll probably use this one is if I'm using Apple CarPlay, which will be like never. So I'm bummed out right now. And I already popped a jewel off of it because it's so stinking cheap. It has like these bedazzled things around the sides and I already popped off a jewel like getting mad at it. And there's a really suspicious guy in a truck next to me like doing weird stuff. <sighs> so I'm going to go ahead to Target now. But I do want to say that Barnes and Noble's place is dangerous. 
I saw so many cool board games, puzzles, just books. Dangerous. And I got a brown sugar shaken espresso. I've never had one of those and holy cow, they're good. Have you tried one? so yummy and I don't know if I have a hole in my lip or what but I keep dribbling down myself <laughs> so I'm not feeling the Christmas spirit right now I'm feeling a little overwhelmed I'm pretty sure I mean a big part of that is just the sheer amount of people <sighs> but we're gonna go to Target Target's got a vast array of things and I am positive I will find stocking stuffers there so Positive. Be positive. Stay positive. I'm literally just stuck here in this right way. Okay. Okay. Nope. Another person coming. Okay. Cool. Okay. We're going to try again. We're going to start edging. We're edging. We're edging. We're edging. Okay. Yeah. Let me out. Not going to hit people today. Okay. Okay. One idea given to me through my Instagram was getting markers. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to get the Silly Scent mashup for Finn. It's got all these different smells in there. I definitely want to smell Fluffernutter. <laughs> well, I found my first husband stocking stuffer. He's gonna love that. I have a cart that sounds horrible. I'm trying to convince myself that it sounds like sleigh bells. They're good, but they're five bucks. It's like two dollars more than I'd want to spend. <laughs> this looks kind of fun. It looks like it goes from yellow and then you put it in water and it becomes a color. And you get two. Oh, it's two different colors. Be a cold or hot. Okay. My husband and I watched the hot ones and I found the buffalo hot sauce, Los Calientes, which I've wanted to try, and then the freaking last dab. We've already got the bomb, so this is a pretty cool find. I also got some Altoids to slip down in Ryan's stocking. I got M&Ms for the kids. Found these for Finn because he loves guys. Um, Oreos, um, and then I got some gum for my office because I needed some. And as you can see, I'm doing some light house shopping too. <laughs> okay, I feel so much better about stockings. I got some gift cards. I got um, assorted candies. I got a couple little toys. Um, I don't know, <laughs> random stuff. So now I feel like the stockings will be full. I even got a couple little books because I remember uh, Finley brought home a couple Pete the Cat books and he's like, I love Pete the Cat. So I found a couple first reader books with Pete the Cat in it. So <clears throat> they should be good to go. I think I still wanna get my husband some um, like scratch it lottery tickets to shove into his. Um, and I might even throw one in each of the kids because they enjoy like seeing if they want any money. Um, I think I'll grab those and that'll be like the last thing. Yeah, it'll be good. So I feel so much better. Um, <coughs> I think I'm going to pick up a, oh gosh, what is it called? Papa Murphy's Delight Pizzas. I'm going to get a veggie delight pizza because it'll save me time and I can get a really big pizza and we can share it. The kids are not gonna be excited about that. So maybe I'll get a small cheese pizza too, but they have those ones I think that they can make themselves. I'll see if they have those, but yeah, that's what's for dinner. I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. And we're gonna go see some Christmas lights tonight. That's the plan anyways. I got $20 cash back. 
So hopefully that's enough. If not, I think we have a couple dollars around the house. I feel like somebody said it was 20 something to go through it. I'm hoping it's 20. <laughs> so, yeah. I just realized that I'm behind on sharing my advent characters with you guys. And I think I've had three now you haven't seen, but I'm getting myself confused. So we're just gonna go through what we got. <laughs> So we have classic Daisy and Donald, so cute. Then we have a Christmas Daisy and Donald. We now have Chip and Dale, that one just recently happened. From Pooh Bear, we have Eeyore, Pooh, and Piglet. I'm really hoping I get Tigger. We have one Christmas version of um, Minnie and Mickey, and this is actually the one I got today. Oh, this is great lighting. Hold on. Oh, bring him over to the tree so you can see better. I like it because he's got a little hip off to the side. I think it's so cute. So, this one I got today. And then, I think you guys have seen... Oh, great. Now you're not going to stand. All the other ones... I'm wondering if I'm gonna get a classic Mickey since I have a classic mini. I feel like it might happen. And of course, I have the gingerbread, which I'm wondering if I'm gonna get a Mickey gingerbread. So we'll see. My hair today. Uh, dinner was okay. Um, I bought broccoli cheddar soup and I thought I had bread I could cook, but my bread went bad. So I ended up putting butter and cheese on some Dave's good seed and nobody really liked it. I loved it, but nobody else was really a fan. <laughs> um, and then we watched Home Alone, the first one. Love it so much. And I've been back here watching my anime show. I went... Oh my goodness, I let Finn watch some of it, which it does have some bad words and some really weird <laughs> spots. So I don't know if, I, if that was the right choice, but he is getting older and he knows better. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. I'll probably end out this vlog tomorrow morning though, so I can think about what I want to video tomorrow. So I guess I will see you guys on Sunday morning. Good morning. It is 8.45 a.m. I'm going to start all my chores for the day. As you can see, <laughs> dishes are always there. I think I hear a fin. Fin's up. I got a load of laundry in the wash. Sat down and started making a to-do list. Oh, you guys are like in my face. Sat down and started making a to-do list. If you can tell what time of the month it is. That's great. Good happy times. But maybe it'll be over by the time Christmas is here. <gasps> Billy! Good morning. Oh. You see good? What did you dream about? I was Dr. Strange. <coughs> you were Dr. Strange? Whoa. That's a powerful dream. <coughs> Anyways, me and this mop of a head is going to clean this kitchen this morning. I probably won't video it because you guys have seen that a few times this Vlogmas. Um, keep moving around laundry and... I'm debating doing a shop with me at the grocery store because I'm thinking about going to Grocery Outlet um, for <coughs> my Vlogmas for today. So I think I'm going to do that. As long as I get my chores done early enough, it should be no problem. And I really need to get my booty to the gym. I haven't been in like <sighs> 10 days or something. And I've been thinking about expanding it to the family plan where you can bring somebody so I can always invite my husband or Brody if they want to come. Be 
I think that would be good. It'd be additional motivation if they ever wanted to go. <sighs> I get my hair cut, by the way, Thursday, and I am so happy about that. <laughs> just to go, like, just imagine this, right? Just shorter, so it's like more universally looking more round. <laughs> I'm procrastinating. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> I might have a lot to do today, but having a cozy, vibin' kitchen, it's so nice. It's so, so nice. And it smells amazing in here. I've got like a cranberry, orange. I actually got it at Walmart. Let me see if it's hot. No, it's okay. This one right here. If you guys see it at Walmart, it smells so potent. <laughs> it is all the orangey cranberry smells. And then from the, um, actually I'll show you guys, from the holiday market, I picked up this wax melt from Davis Trails Gingerbread. It smells so good with that orange cranberry smell that literally is smelling like Christmas in here. I've got it in that wax warmer and then I also popped one back here in this one. So my house is just smelling good. I think I'm gonna focus on my laundry now and then probably go take a shower. Oh my gosh, I need to clean my couch. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> No, we didn't say play. It didn't say play. Pause. Okay. This isn't going to be for everybody, okay? I know this, but I'm going to tell you about it anyways. There is a, like, anime converted live action called Yu Yu Hakusho. I think is how you say it. And let me tell you about it. So in this series, this guy dies and he goes to like the afterlife. And at the point of time that he's dying, there's this thing, event happening in the world where um, demons are taking over the human world. And they come in like all different shapes and sizes and they do all sorts of weird things. Well, the guy that goes into the afterlife meets the guy that's like deciding if you go to heaven or hell and this guy has this um like facade of being bad but he died by saving a child's life and people who really know him know he he's not actually bad he's a good guy so in order for him to make good with like everybody's perception is he's like hey i will um, resurrect you as long as you fight these demons like he's called a something detective a demon detective I can't remember and I can't remember what the bad guys are called I feel like they're called yokai anyways he gets the opportunity to come back to life and he starts fighting demons and he has this like goodness in him that like shoots out of his hand it's like a mix of uh superhero and then obviously sci-fi with the show has been converted to english so they have the english like maybe i have cc i have subtitles on um but they have the subtitles on the bottom and then that's how i watch it but they're also like have English spoken over them so their lips don't match so if that bugs you you will not do well with this but I love the idea of it some of the demon characters are just so interesting and if you're somebody that doesn't like action like um, fighting uh, or anything like that you might not like this and there is some bad words like you know they're calling each other a-holes and stuff but it's so interesting to me I've always loved like weird, almost like sci-fi stuff like Who or Doctor Who, um, where there's just these other beings. 
like one of the bad guys, um, actually some of them are kind of confusing. They come off as being initially a bad guy, but they've converted while being here at the human world. And so they don't necessarily, they're not necessarily bad anymore. But there are these different like items this guy is trying to collect, like this black mirror. There was this orb thing he had to collect. There's this sword. And um, there's some weird girl that's been crying tears of life. Anyways, it's so <laughs> interesting that I keep watching it. So anyways, I wanted to mention it in case you're somebody that's like into that kind of stuff you might actually like this. And I think it initiated, no, it did. It did initiate from an actual anime because I looked up the, the name of it and I found like actual cartoon anime. Um, and the and the guy that chooses the, the people that go good or bad freaking has a pacifier in his mouth all the time. And it bugs me. There are things in the, this show that bug me. But anyways, if it's too off the wall weird for you, I get it. But there might be people out there that's like a little bit weird like me and like this stuff. So I wanted to share it because, you know, and if you know of any funky sci-fi shows or I don't know, similar shows that you think I might like, tell me about it because I'm really into this. I think there's a total of six episodes and I'm on episode four. So that's what I'm going to watch while I start folding laundry and before I take my shower. My way. Go on. If you won't move, then I'll make you. So, it's about midday, yeah, 2.12 on Sunday. I took Finley, no, took Brody to go Christmas shopping for dad and brother, and that's done. Um, he didn't want to get his hair cut yet. So, he's looking pretty shaggy. It's his head though, so whatever. Um, I'm going to wrap up this vlog though, and we'll take you guys, I think, with me to go grocery shopping at Grocery Outlet. But I have to go to Walmart first because I know they have the face wash I need the tea my husband requests and something else but anyways i will see you guys in the next video thank you for hanging out with me for another day take care love always bye